Principal of Ford in NCD, Anthony Ryapan, said this was a wonderful program that was developed with consultation with the provincial advisors and school principals, where they discovered some challenges and trials that schools were facing, and also the support from the Ford headquarters on what can be provided to them. The matriculation study program uh, offered by this DODFL and uh, UPNG Open Campus, they all have been closed now, which they are now eventually that those programs have come to Ford program. And that's how we are seeing more students, they're trying to come to Ford and the head office and uh, other provinces upgrading through matriculation program. He said not only the regular students are benefiting, but also those who had left school for some time back and want to upgrade their academic marks. TSC Chairman Samson Wangihome said Ford has come a long way. While he congratulated the Ford staff and the division at DES for the reforms. It is the Prime Minister's call. This has been the Prime Minister's vision when he was our minister. So we started 166 and he's been saying no one must be left behind. Regional Director for Inspection for the Highlands Region, Rema Aloysius, reflected on the brief journey of Ford in Southern Islands Province. Mainstreaming is, uh, the, the thinking behind is that harnessing it through the system so that this is done within work on our, by the teachers, and we have an uh, inspection system to enforce it. So the expected calendar and time frame of delivering things are achieved on time. He said since there was no clear instruction on how to go about it, the Southern Islands education just pushed, started it. The result, however, is commendable with now seven out of eight schools participating. Frida Kana, TV One News.